In this lesson, you will learn how to identify which quadrant a point lies in on a coordinate plane. As a quick recap, a coordinate plane is made up of a horizontal number line called the x-axis and a vertical number line called the y-axis. These axes divide the coordinate plane into four quadrants. The top right region is quadrant 1. The top left region is quadrant 2. The bottom left region is quadrant 3. The bottom right region is quadrant 4. Each quadrant has a distinct combination of positive and negative values for x and y coordinates. In quadrant 1, both the x and y coordinates are positive. In quadrant 2, the x coordinate is negative and the y coordinate is positive. In quadrant 3, both the x and y coordinates are negative. In quadrant 4, the x coordinate is positive and the y coordinate is negative. So, to identify which quadrant a point lies in, you just need to focus on the signs of its coordinates. Let's see how this works with our examples. Remember, for any point, the first number is always the x coordinate and the second number is always the y coordinate. For point A, both its x and y coordinates are positive. If both coordinates are positive, the point lies in quadrant 1, right? Therefore, point A lies in quadrant 1. If you plot it, you can also confirm that it is in quadrant 1. For point B, its x coordinate is negative and its y coordinate is positive. If the x coordinate is negative and the y coordinate is positive, the point lies in quadrant 2, right? Therefore, point B lies in quadrant 2. If you plot it, you can also confirm that it is in quadrant 2. Now, please pause the video and identify which quadrant point C lies in. Both its x and y coordinates are negative. If both coordinates are negative, the point lies in quadrant 3, right? Therefore, point C lies in quadrant 3. If you plot it, you can also confirm that it is in quadrant 3. Which quadrant is point D located in? Give it a try. Its x coordinate is positive and its y coordinate is negative. If the x coordinate is positive and the y coordinate is negative, the point lies in quadrant 4, right? Therefore, Point D lies in quadrant 4. If you plot it, you can also confirm that it is in quadrant 4. Next, we have point E. Its x coordinate is negative and its y coordinate is 0. Remember, if the y coordinate of a point is 0, the point lies on the x axis. Therefore, point E lies on the x axis. It does not belong to any of the quadrants. If you plot it, you can also confirm that it is on the x axis. Next, we have point F. Its x coordinate is 0 and its y coordinate is 5. Remember, if the x coordinate of a point is 0, the point lies on the y axis. Therefore, point F lies on the y axis. It does not belong to any of the quadrants. If you plot it, you can also confirm that it is on the y axis. In general, if either the x coordinate, y coordinate, or both are 0, the point does not belong to any of the quadrants. If the y coordinate is 0, the point lies on the x axis. If the x coordinate is 0, the point lies on the y axis. If both the x and y coordinates are 0, the point lies at where the x and y axis intersect, which is the origin. Therefore, point G lies at the origin. Thanks for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing.